Hey there fellow Android developers, are you ready to dive into the world of Jetpack Compose Material 3 and master the art of navigation for us? Ever wondered how to create those cool sliding menus that magically appear from the side of the screen? Well, get ready to unleash your inner magician and learn how to conjure up these navigation drawers using Jetpack Compose Material 3. It's going to be so easy, you will think you are pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Before we dive into the code, I just want to remind you that if you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the growing community of Android developers who are learning and creating amazing things with Kotlin and Jetpack Compose. Please give it a th big old thumbs up. It will help other developers find this awesome tutorial and elevate their apps to the next level. For creating that navigation drawers, first let's create a composable function and I'm gonna name it as simple navigation drawer example and now how are we gonna create the navigation drawer simple we need the composable function which is model navigation drawer this model navigation drawer let's see the source code of this model navigation drawer it takes drawer content then modifier drawer state just enabled screen color content just enabled by default is true that means you can swipe in drawer state whether it is open or close modifier simple you know change the out background or something and that's the drawer content here you need to provide the drawer content the drawer content means when you write in and the, con the user is gonna see is the drawer content basically let's simply create the drawer content first how are we gonna create the drawer content so for that purpose we need some data class to hold the data of the particular drawer content or you can say drawer item so first simple model model drawer sheet which uh, the drawer sheet which is gonna open when users slide in okay so inside this i'm gonna create a simple box modifier modifier dot fill max fit padding of 60 dp and then content alignment alignment dot center now import the dp and now you what we gonna do first let's simple show the text which is the header of the navigation so navigation drawer header and then you can style it as much as you want whatever you want to do and uh, if i am do something like material theme dot typography dot uh, line headline medium headline large you can yeah that's the headline so let's take it as that the headline large and uh, this is basically the style now the text is okay now if i run this actually yeah let, let's run this first and see uh, what is happening so navigation drawer sample so now you can see the blank screen actually we don't have anything this is the navigation drawer uh, sheet which uh, this is the navigation drawer and this is the navigation drawer set sheet model drawer sheet basically now what we can add first let's create a uh, drawer item data class data class drawer item what we gonna provide to this drawer item so to hold the data of the drawer item i'm gonna make it uh, first we need icon so let's create a icon variable of type image vector then the label or whatever the text basically so where title i'm gonna hold it as a string and uh, so also i'm gonna need a second badge or you can say notification or value so that also and i'm gonna name the type is basically the going to be the string type now we need to create a list of this item so i'm gonna create a list of items where um items equals to list of and uh, navigation drawer item now i'm I, we need to provide navigation drawer item and provide the data so icon equals to icons dot default dot home then the title should be the home and uh, what is the second uh, batch let's make it as 20 now let's just copy and paste it five times or four times whatever times how many times you want three four five now let's change the icons for home just make it a uh, account so it will going to be the profile then i'm gonna make it as notifications and uh, help is this no info yes and the last one i'm gonna make it as settings title is settings. now the these are the items and uh, obviously we need to provide this inside the inside this model uh, draw sheet content so just simple how are we gonna provide this i'm gonna just iterate it so it uh, items dot for each in item or uh, yeah 
we just need an item so i'm just gonna need for each and uh, if you need the position also then you need to uh, use the for each index now here i just need the item data so this is perfect for me now navigation drawer item this is the composable function which is provided by us by uh, to us by the jetpack compose okay so this is the predefined thing this contain label whether it is selected or not and the on click of this particular item so label item dot title and uh, yeah i think item dot title is the label and uh, selected whether it is selected or not so for that purpose we need to check if item is equals to the selected item or not now what is the selected item we need to create a variable uh, for the state for holding the state of the items okay so that's it and uh, on select on click i want my drawer state to be changed and also the selected item to be as item whatever the item is first so this is it now we also need something yeah we need to provide the icon also because we created icon so i'm gonna provide the icon also and uh, how we gonna provide the icon simple icon just create icon and uh, image vector import the icon composable then image vector and uh, just provide the item dot icon content description is gonna be item dot title now uh this is the the icon and uh, just put the badge also so how are we gonna provide the badge simple text text is equals to item dot badge then i think this is it and uh, you can also provide modifier so i'm gonna provide modifier dot padding navigation drawer item defaults dot item uh default dot item. just hold the colors i guess um this is interesting oh sorry i just call the different this is not what i want i want navigation drawer item defaults and that's called the item padding so yeah that's pretty much let me show the source code of the navigation drawer item it contains label the title then the whether it is selected or not then on click of that particular and the icon the badge the shape the color you can change and uh, now let's create some state variables which holds the state uh, of these so first whether uh, we are going to make a selected item by remember remember and uh, mutable state of items at zero so first item basically the default one the selected is uh, the first item is going to be the defaulted uh, selected by default and navigation drawer we do we do that so first item selected and the which uh, is shown to the user on the screen so that's it now we also need some other things like uh, drawer state so let's make a drawer state remember remember drawer state initial value drawer value dot closed now also we need the coroutine scope why uh, let me show you first let's create this remember coroutine scope now uh, why we need this scope first we need to provide the drawer state inside this model navigation drawer so drawer state is equals to drawer state this then uh, the gesture enabled so we need the gesture enabled only when drawer state is open otherwise we don't need actually i think this is pretty much now on click of this we want so on click of this um drive navigation drawer item we want our navigation drawer to closed so how we gonna implement that simple drawer state dot close but this close is basically a suspend function so for calling this suspend function we need the coroutine scope and that's why i created a scope and i'm gonna call this function inside this scope because this is a suspend function that's it now let me show you something so this is the navigation drawer and uh, inside this you can provide any type of content whichever you want and uh, let me provide it so yeah that's it first let's run this and uh, see how it's gonna look like and then we we gonna create a content which we gonna provide inside this navigation drawer so if i swipe it then you can see the gesture is not enabled okay now let me 
make it or we can say if it is open then disable it and if it is not open then simply enable it obviously or we can do this as a simply initiated it uh make it to default by true now if i swipe in now you can see this is our navigation drawer so it is only showing us the settings whenever i click just simple click so why this is happening let me see okay so what happening is here last one is showing okay so this is the issue and uh, let me change this to column actually and see if that gonna work or not let run this let me just swipe in slide in uh, okay so this is working because uh, obviously column has this thing that uh, you need to put item then again in the next line it put the item so it doesn't go into uh, the top of the top of the top of the layer like one or one over the top one over the top thing so yeah the label is not showing because uh, we need to provide the composable layer so at the text like this and now if i run this so yeah that's basically you need to provide a composable function which is gonna look uh, good or whatever you can say certainly so that is something you need to provide so like this simple and if i click on this then this is selected and now if i open this you can see the selected one is this and uh, you also can uh, simply just change this like this and uh, let me slide in and you can see you can also make it this there is padding for this particular composable more and then make it as center so you can do many more things with this but let me uh, before uh, actually so first before we dive into more nitty gritty of this navigation drawers let me ask you a simple question have you ever gotten lost in a well navigating through a complex android app can feel like that sometimes that's where navigation drawers come in as your trusty guide leading you seamlessly through the different section of leading your basically your users to seamlessly through the different sections of your app and uh, imagine your app as a house and the navigation drawer is like a master key that unlocks all the rooms with just a few traps taps or swipes you can explore every nook of cranny and cranny of your app without ever feeling lost or confused just like you can see you have every everything it's like uh, when you click on this profile then the profile of the screen is going to open notification then the notification info is not in, in the not info section so it's uh, it's also similar to the bottom navigation uh, if you see the bottom navigation menu now let's uh, do one more thing which is the scaffold uh, basically the content so what we gonna show on the content so simple i'm gonna create a scaffold layout and in this scaffold layout and we need to provide top app bar bottom app bar or other things if you want to provide something more then you can do that also and uh, yeah that's uh, pretty much i guess let me make the scaffold layout first and then see how we gonna see that so i'm gonna just copy paste something and uh, Floating icon button, make it uh, add button. So, is this an issue? Content padding I didn't use, so I'm gonna get the content padding from the scaffold layout. The content basically for the scaffold layout. Simple, remove this. Now, that's why I'm right. Scaffold content is ended. Yeah, now if I run this app, or you can do one more thing that uh, you can just provide. If I show you till it is running, and uh, what you can do is top app bar, and in this top app bar, you can provide navigation icon, which is icon button, and inside this icon button, you can provide the icon. So I'm gonna provide icons dot default dot menu icon. simple image vector so is this no value pass for the title title is going to be the let me see title content composable or simple title composable so we need to provide the text here and uh, now if i run this so on click of the icon the navigation icon what i want i want the drawer state to be oh, uh, the open Drawer state, drawer state. Initial value is that drawer value dot close. So I want drawer state equals to drawer value dot open. 
this uh, we need to call from the scope if i am not wrong uh, okay so dot, dot state dot i have something then why this just the scope dot launch now let me put this inside this standard also uh, or uh, we can just put this here that's pretty much good actually draw so if it is closed then open as let just close it now let me rerun this till let me show you what it does so it is opening this uh, navigation drawer and if i click on one of them then it will close that so this is our complete structure of the ui screen if i click on this menu icon it will open the drawer navigation drawer and if i click on something then it will close the navigation drawer and also select that particular profile also so if i click on this then next time it will show us the settings and if i click on this like this then it will close it and if i swipe it here then it will open it like so this is basically the navigation drawer thing so now congratulations you will just become a navigation drawer wizard now go forth and spread your new found knowledge to the world creating apps that are as intuitive as and easy to use as a well designed navigation drawer okay that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on jetpack compose matter theory navigation drawers if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to follow me on social media for more awesome tutorials tutorials link all of my social media accounts is in the description subscribe to my channel press the bell icon and, and i will see you in the next video